Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and today we are building a high school football coach's house in The Sims 4. Thank you for tuning in. I really hope you enjoy this build. This is one of my favorites. It's three bedrooms and four bathrooms and I think it is perfect for a growing family. It has a spacious great room, a large kitchen, a laundry room, a walk-in pantry, a two-story foyer, and plenty of space to entertain. I decorated it for a family of four, which includes a local high school football coach and his wife, their teen son, and a younger daughter. So this was once again inspired by the upcoming Sims 4 High School Years expansion pack. I love creating families and I'm super excited to see what they do with teenagers in the game. I think there's a lot of room to grow there and I'm excited to get the content and make more bedrooms and decorate the world that comes with the pack. I forgot what it's called but should be a great time. So this build, as always, does not use any custom content. You can download it on the Sims 4 Gallery under my user ID at Nick Last Game. That is the same tag for all social media. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and here on YouTube at Nick Last Game. Now, this house, I took inspiration from a picture I found on Zillow, so I will throw that in right here. I think it's a super cute family house. I was very pleased with how I was able to recreate it. I took some creative liberties and made it a little bit more tailored towards the family that I had in mind and the lot size and everything. But overall, I think it turned out really great. Right now, I'm just adding a chimney. I always do this with the roof piece to just make it a little bit wider, create some new shapes in the house. Overall, very simple house form, lots of rectangles. I'm a big fan of those windows in the corner in the back on the second floor, the rounded ones that wrap around the corner of the house. I love that when i see that i think it looks super great inside if that's something you have in your house i'm sure you can look out of it and see just a lot of land because you have a more panoramic view as always i will be taking suggestions for future builds in the comments or on any social media that you would like let me know and I'll probably build it. I love getting ideas of things to build and you guys have some incredible ideas so let me hear them. <laughs> I cut out some parts of the speed build like I always do. That includes the floor plan, some of the bathrooms, other small rooms I'm not sure maybe the pantry didn't make the cut either just for time's sake so that you aren't here watching a super long video I've been very pleased with how I've been able to condense them I think there's a lot packed into the length of this video so I'm getting better at building quicker and keeping the camera more still something I've really been working on to make it easier for you guys to watch everything now we are onto the interior you can see the floor plan is already done that's what I mean by cutting it out I do it off camera so that you don't have to see it I'll still change wallpaper colors floors around 
specific details, just the tedious process of figuring out where I want each wall placed, where I want a door or an entryway or making sure the windows make sense. That's just a piece that I choose to cut out. You'll become familiar with the floor plan as you watch the video, so I hope it's not too much missing. But if that's something you'd like to see, just leave a comment and I'll include it in a future video. Now on to some exciting news. Curved walls have been confirmed. There was a very brief glimpse of it in the trailer for an upcoming pack, and there was a picture circulating Twitter of curved walls. It seems to be only one tile right now, just a little rounded edge, maybe two. I'm very excited to see how that actually turns out. I think that's something we've been waiting on for so long. I've been building for years and years, but never with curved walls. So that's really exciting. I hope there is a lot of flexibility with it because I love turrets on houses. I think they're super fun. Victorian builds, sometimes more castle builds have turrets, but they're very fun. I wonder if that would mean curved stairs are going to come sometime in the future. I also wonder how the windows are going to work with that, if that's something all windows can go on, if they'll be stretched. So many questions. Lighting, big one, I'm sure that will create some really interesting shapes with lighting, but exciting stuff. I hope we hear more about that soon and that it works as smoothly as possible. I am certain you will see builds of mine incorporating curved walls once that feature becomes available. Another piece of news, at least for me and my channel, is Paralyze. I have been following this game. It's a different life simulation game, really the only one that would be potentially a competitor to The Sims. I've been watching it, all the trailers, all the blog posts, I'm super excited for it. I highly recommend you checking it out if The Sims is a game you are interested in. If it is, you're in the right place. <laughs> I will certainly be buying the game and building houses in it when it comes out. I don't think it has a release date yet still in development, but something to keep your eyes on if this is a space you are interested in. Now I'm on to that big kitchen that I was talking about. Really liked these wall choices. I'm trying to find ways to make the walls and the floors interesting and consistent throughout all the houses that I build. Something I really focus on is realism, making it something that you could see yourself walking into if this is what a house would look like in your neighborhood or if you were visiting an area where houses look like this. But this house, this kitchen, is very white. I will be putting up a trophy shelf very shortly, just tying it back in to the high school football coach who lives here. I imagine the house is great for entertaining. They definitely see a lot of guests. From time to time, they have that seating area immediately off of the foyer, separate from the living room, which is a really nice space to maybe read a book or entertain before bringing your guests into your living room or your kitchen, maybe before a meal. This house doesn't have a big yard, but I don't think it's too big of a con you have a lot of living space inside of the house you can download different parks there's parks within the neighborhood that this house is currently being built in so you're not losing out too much by the lack of outdoor space especially for this smaller community a house this size is a luxury 
Now I'm building the upstairs landing area. I'm not sure how many of you guys have these in your houses. I grew up with a house that had an upstairs landing area. Honestly, it wasn't used that much, so not too sure what to put in them. I just fill it with seating. Who knows if you'll actually use it. Sometimes it's nice to have a balcony off there if you have a bigger backyard, but that's not this house. Now I'm on to the master. It has this deep red paint all throughout it. I think it's a nice contrast to the tans and creams that are throughout it. I think bedrooms are a really great place to add some personality, add some color. It has a walk-in closet. The bathroom there is also one of my favorite parts of the house. You can see me building it right now. One of the few bathrooms I include. I am just a huge fan of that corner tub. That's where I use those corner windows as you can see. It keeps with the beige interior but I don't mind it too much. I think it's pretty realistic for a master bathroom to just have more neutral coloring. Now I'm on to the teenage son's room. Also it could be a guest room. Whatever you would like it to be, you can download it and change it to be anything that you would like. But here is a basketball decal, wall decal. Another poster. Tried to make it look a bit young. I actually added a, another bathroom to this. There was going to be a Jack and Jill, but I realized that that made that bedroom. I just said that a lot of times in that sentence. I realized it made it a bit larger than I was intending for a secondary bedroom. So I added a separate bathroom to it, which is a huge perk. This is the kids' bedroom. I love it, very naturey. Kids' bedrooms are another area that I think, even with all the content, I could still work on. But here we are at the end of the video. Here's some screenshots. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Bye! <laughs>